Hey guys, in this video we are going to go over auto import and what that means is that Lightroom will watch a folder that you specify for images to be placed inside of it and when they are it will automatically import them into Lightroom. And so for example I have on my desktop this import folder I could set uh, I could set auto import up so that Lightroom watches that and whenever images go inside of it, it will uh, import them into Lightroom. And so how we do that is we go up to the um, file menu and you go to auto import and then you go to auto import settings. And it'll bring up the dialog box that helps us to choose uh, how we want this to be set up. So our watched folder is the folder that we will be placing images into. And so we want to choose that to be my import folder. So now whenever an, an image is placed into the import folder, Lightroom will suck it in and put it into a place that I choose. And I'm going to choose to put it in my originals folder because that is where I want all of my images to go. Now you'll see that I have, it wants to create a subfolder called the auto imported fo photos. The one thing I'm going to change here is I'm just going to put a dash in front of it. And the reason I'm going to do that is because that will keep it listed first in all of my folders in the original folder. And so as I have more and more shoots come into this area, I will continually have my auto imported photos folder be at the top. Okay. And so we can choose to name them as they come in. We can choose to add a develop setting as they come in. We can choose to include metadata. And if, if you've watched the video on copyright, I'm going to include my copyright metadata. We could choose to add keywords. And so I could, uh, think of the keywords that match this shoot and have them come in and then I can choose my previews and I'm going to choose standard. So the last thing I need to do is I need to click enable and if I click OK that folder is now watched. So I created this folder here as if it's a media card that I just inserted into my computer and here are my images from the shoot and so I'm going to select all of them and I'm just gonna drop them right into the import folder. So you'll see them in here, and you'll start to see them disappear. And what's happening is Lightroom is actually pulling them in. And if you look at the, pros the progress up here, it's actually sucking them in. If I click on the auto-imported folder, you'll start to see them come in one at a time. Now this is how I import my images into Lightroom. The reason is because it keeps my workflow exactly how I want it to be. All of my images come into the import folder, they are moved into my originals folder, and then when I am finished and export, they all go to my finished folder. So I know where my images are at all times. Now, one other thing I want to show you right here, I can't leave them in the auto imported folder uh, photos folder. And the reason is, is because if I try to import more images with this name, it's going to overwrite them or try to copy them or somehow I'm going to lose images. So what we want to do is select all of the images that we've just imported. So I'm going to do a command A. And then if you right click on auto imported folders, I can create a folder inside of auto imported folders with the images that I have selected. Okay, so if I click on that, I can name this, um, let's just name this Johnson family. And then I need to include selected photos. So the photos I've selected will now go into that. I hit create. And now you'll see inside of the auto imported fo photos folder, I now have a family session completely separated out. And so if I go into my originals now, here's my auto imported photos, more images can now be brought in here and they will not interfere with the other images because I've now moved those into the Johnson family um, folder. And so this is how I work my workflow. This is how I get my images into Lightroom. This is how I keep them from interfering with other images or folders of images. And then once I'm finished editing this, so I would go through and edit them, I would take this folder 
and drag it into the originals. So now my auto imported folder uh, photos is empty and then I would start to have my sessions listed down here below. And so what, what that does is I now know every shoot that is in auto imported folders, I need to still edit. And when I'm finished editing, I will move it into the originals, and that is where that session will reside. If I need to go back to it, I can track it down and find it. So um, auto import is a fantastic way to speed up your workflow and to get your images into Lightroom quickly.